Okay, Dialog Semiconductor in the UK. Um, good little, good little company. Uh, let's see the market cap: three point five billion. That's in US dollars. Um, okay. Semiconductors are always exciting. This one's uh, very exciting, but uh, I will also say very difficult. So I would not take a big position. I would take a small position. Um, these ones that are crazy to me, they I just trade them like options. Like I either expect them to go to zero, practically. Um, I don't expect it to go to zero, zero, but it, you know, you might lose your entire position. <laughs> or pretty close. Or, it doubles or triples or something like that and it, and that's exactly how I see this one um, so you see the graphic there it's actually actually it's kind of underserves what they do they do a lot more than this um, let's see here let's I think we, sh we should jump to their website and let's do that I've got it right here handy um, I think the best way if you're a not an engineer is to look at the applications okay so smart lighting wearables the smart home home appliances uh, automotive smart meters those sorts of things okay so very practical uh, very new wave you know in the right space you'd want it to be in um, I think it's you know and it's a really good company um, so why am I hesitating let's jump into the model and you can see the return on capital right now is 30 percent that's great that that's no hesitation that's awesome except this hasn't been the it's not the best history here right like um i guess ever since 2009 it's been quite good it did improve but you see these peaks and valleys still so it was 30 percent in 2014 2015 petered out went to 16 18 still good but the market had priced in a much better performance um you know and then that's that's you can see the nature of this it's it's very volatile um both in terms of the cyclical nature of the results and the cyclical nature of the stock and they do move in kind so that's a good that's actually good because then we can use our model as return on capital is improving the stock should be improving but it will about face on you it looks like at least from the history that that could happen quickly here so that's why you got to trade it differently you cannot take a full position in something like this you just it'll just you know obviously if it works out you you'll feel great but uh, if you take a like a four percent position and it and it kind of gets cut in half like that'll damage your portfolio for an entire year like it will you won't recover uh, at least you won't beat the index in that case so but to be you know you got to be in the water to catch a wave kind of thing take a one percent position in this because it's awesome it's great it's in, it's exciting and and maybe they can keep at this 30 percent for a few years and they do that the guarantee the stock uh, will do really well certainly i'd say this this little like let's look at that stock chart down there that's a, that's a good way um the long-term stock chart tells the story um, of cyclicality Let's just scroll that down a little bit. It's starting to come into view there. Okay, there we go. See the, the peaks and valleys here? So this new peak is correlated with the 30% return on capital. That's great. Um, last time they did 30, the stock also had a peak and they maintained it for two years. I would say most likely just because um, you know, company's more mature, um, this time around, it could be more sustainable. We don't know this for sure, um, but there's a, a, a better chance this time around. And all we are doing is playing the odds here. There's a better chance that this can sustain this uh, because it's a more mature company. Okay? So I think that, that covers the hypothesis and the way to play it. Um, summary, good company, a little bit volatile, uh, but you should play it. Is a, is a small position, sort of like an option, so maybe up to 1% uh, kind of max.